I'm Savannah Hendricks, I'm 14 years old, and I'm Game Fishing Park's Youth Ambassador, and I live in Vivian, out in the country. I wanted to go hunting more because that is what I love to do, and I couldn't ever, so I was just a little frustrated, and so I decided that, well, maybe I should change that. I wasn't ready for that. Savannah wrote a letter to Governor Nome because she wanted to extend our youth pheasant hunting season. So part of our process is that letter came to me in my office and I invited Savannah and her parents to come and speak with me about it. My parents helped me with that idea a little bit. I always had it in mind that I wanted to do that, but I'd never really know how to do it. So I kind of asked them for help and I asked some other teachers in our school also what they would do. I had teachers come and watch my presentation over and over and over and critique me because I just wanted it to be perfect. My first thought was there was no way she wrote that herself, but after meeting her, it was very clear that this young lady was so impressive. She knew exactly what she wanted. And everyone says, I don't have time to do this or that, but she truly didn't have time. The Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was totally underutilized like by busy kids. Because I'm in volleyball, basketball, track, cheer, you know, everything that I can possibly try to get in. Because, you know, I live in a small community and it's kind of my job to try and get into everything that I can. So her first thought was, well, I'll just change the law to allow for more time. It was incredible. She told me that this law hadn't been changed for, I think, 11 years and that it was time to upgrade. I had no idea how that process worked. It's not so easy that I can just change that rule. Our public process is Savannah had to petition our Game Fish and Parks Commission, bring it before them, and then they would make the decision to actually change the law to extend that youth season. In! Some of the public comments were like, well, then you're going to see younger birds get killed. Well, here's the thing. This teaches the kids that you can see the difference from the young birds to the older birds. And like today when we went out hunting, I couldn't tell some of them because they were so young that they still looked like hens. Well, that's just safer to do. If you don't know, don't shoot it. This last year's social distancing created a great opportunity for South Dakotans to get outside. In March, we had a young lady named Savannah Hendricks. With the goal of getting out in the field more with her family, Savannah created a petition urging the Game Fish and Parks Commission to extend the youth pheasant season from five to nine days. At the May meeting, the commission adopted Savannah's proposal. It's my hope that you and your story will serve as an example to all South Dakotans to get involved in our policy making. Thank you. Savannah is an inspiration to all youth hunters, whether boy, girl, wherever they're from, novice or expert, whether they grew up in doing it or they just started. And I think she speaks for any age hunter because she understands why we do it. Okay, I'm all set. Definitely my mom and dad were my biggest inspiration because by the time I was two, I was walking in the field with my toy gun and right next to my dad. So right away I learned that to walk in a straight line and to watch your line and you know when they, and uh, learn the difference between a rooster and a hen. And so they definitely helped me along this journey. I would love to go to the Black Hills and hunt. I mean, I think that would be even fun. Or to go where you go, just to even fish. That would be so much fun because, well, and I would really like to get an elk tag or a moose because those animals are just amazing. I wouldn't even have to shoot one. I just love to go out there and just watch them. They're just so cool to watch.
it's so much fun just to get out there and just to have fun once in a while. I mean, sometimes you need that break and hunting can be so relaxing. You know, sometimes people just need that little something right there from hunting or fishing. It's just nice to get out once in a while.